Hey. Hey, so I just got some good news. Uh, I should be recording on my other camera, but I'm going to just record it on my phone. I have a pop socket here, so I can do that. But I just got an email stating that I got accepted into... On my way to take care of the school, it's pretty cold out. Um, it's very cold out. It's very cold out. You go ahead, Gabriel. I'm gonna have to adjust this ISO because I'm going outside. Yo, oh, I almost fell on these stairs. So, recycling came. No, recycling didn't come, garbage came. Okay, in the car. Put this back. You okay? Yeah. All right. Ready for school? Yeah. All right. Bye. Love you. Give me a kiss. Yeah. Love you. Have a good day. You too. We gonna cross. Yeah. Yeah, both ways. And in front of the car. Okay. Hi. Happy belated New Year, everybody. <laughs> I mean, bye. Look both ways. One thing I gotta say about this camera, the lighting is pretty good. It's sitting in my car on a fairly cloudy day. It's not like rain clouds, but it is like cloudy out. I am at Gabriel's school, waiting to pick him up. Yep, I'm on my daily routine, waiting for the, the school to put him back on the, the bus. Um, I don't know what the holdup is. Uh, I told them, for the school break, the, the, the new address could be moved, and it was supposed to take five to seven days. But uh, I hope the school didn't lie to me and tell me that they put the address in and they didn't. But that's one of the problems with being a parent and going to a public school. Sometimes the schools don't act as fast as they should. But nonetheless, I appreciate the teachers in the school. They're good teachers in the school. Today is January 4th. Thursday, January 4th. And uh, I'm a little, I feel a little better today because um, news is out. Tumor is not malignant but it is aggressive it's growing so they need to like right here hurts I don't know why it's weird the tumor's probably here right here and here yeah I feel it I think that's it maybe that's just a gland I feel like I'm getting a sore throat so maybe that's what that is either way my health is like ah Starting off the new year that way, yay. But it's a good thing I don't do that whole new year thing. It's just another day, another life goes on. You know what it is? Excuse me for yawning. I see why people appreciate the opportunity to start new. But I don't agree with, and this is just me, you can do you, this is just me. Um, I don't agree with waiting for a particular time to make changes in my life that would benefit me so if it's January uh, if it's November 29th and I'm like you know what um, this needs to change in my life and I'm going to start something new in the new year January 1st that doesn't really make much sense to me I'm like well why not just start something new uh, November 30th <laughs> and keep it going from there I don't understand why people do it. Um, I just don't choose to do things that way. If something in my life needs to be changed, I'll change it right away and not wait till the new year. Because um, I just don't want to wait. 
I want to improve my life, I improve it when I get the realization that my life needs improving and not wait. Now, what people do sometimes at the end of the year, they do an inventory. They wonder, they, they do an inventory of how their year went and they make changes. And that I get, that I could definitely rock with. But, you know, when people do things like, you know, I'm not dealing with pettiness this year, shouldn't have dealt with pettiness in the beginning. So, no. Um, you know, I'm not chasing no man this year or you know, I'm going to find me love this year. Mm-hmm. Stop. You know, that, that's not how you should be thinking. But that's just the way I think, though. Right, you can take it. You can leave it. You can uh, leave a comment and say, Andre, I don't agree. Totally up to you. But for me, I make changes when changes need to be made and not wait for a particular time to do it. Because it may not get done. Or I may not be sincere in doing it. The only, I made, the only New Year's resolution I've ever made and kept was me not biting my nails. So I don't bite my nails anymore. I made this New Year's resolution, I think, in 2001 or 2002. And I stopped biting my nails. It was a bad habit, and I stopped doing it. But after that, I didn't make I, every New Year's resolution I made, I didn't keep. But what I did find is when I chose to make changes, when I needed, when I came to the realization that change was needed, I did much better. So I want to encourage you. If you don't agree, you can take it, spit it out. But uh, I still would like to encourage you not to wait for a particular time to make changes when you realize it. When you make cha- when you realize that change is needed, you make that change immediately. Not wait for a new year to do it. Hey, look who I got in the car. Hey, you people. How you doing? I'm good. How was school? Good. I got a book for school. It's called... Let me see it. Abby. Whoops, I got I gotta start driving, so I gotta put this away. I wouldn't. The Bye. Bye. Hey. Hey, so I just got some good news. Uh, I should be recording on my other camera, but I'm gonna just record it on my phone. I have a pop socket here, so I can do that. But I just got an email stating that I got accepted into the New York City Teaching Fellows. So that's the New York City Teaching Fellows. I start my internship in June, and I start teaching in September. <laughs> oh man, this is exciting! A teacher, oh, I'm excited. Have an opportunity to mentor and educate and mold young minds. Ah oh, man, oh, whew. I'm excited. Really excited. Hey guys, do you see my beard? So I'm letting it grow out. I said my beard doesn't go that high. Like I wish it came up like here. I had a full beard. I don't have a full beard. This is pretty much how where it gets thick. But it is like what it is. I like my beard. I think it looks pretty nice. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I'm in a really good mood. I don't know why I'm in a good mood. Because I got some good news today. I had some good news yesterday, but sort of mixed up news, you know. Um, the tumor's not cancerous, it's benign, but it is aggressive, and you gotta remove it. That's, you know, good news that it's not cancerous. Bad news that they gotta remove pretty much my jaw to get it done. Um, but good news I got today, and today is January 5th, Thursday, January 5th, I got accepted into the New York City Department of Education Teaching Fellows. I start in June. Either way, I start in June. I will be, Lord willing, a New York City Department of Education teacher. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited.
got it. So I got to go through this procedure quickly so that I can start speaking <laughs> in a timely manner. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm excited about the opportunity to be able to mentor and educate students in a public school setting. So uh, my life has been a series of downs and not quite ups, but downs and like little hills, but mainly all valleys and small little ups, but not really skyrocketing up uh, since uh, my divorce and since my um, uh, my exodus at the church that I was working at. My life has been down and a lot of it had to do with the finances, but um, nonetheless, you know, Things are looking to turn around right now, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, uh, yeah, and I really think that uh, I'm going to start closing out on uh, a lot of the areas in my life that has holes in it. I really want to start filling some holes in, and not just like with um, the cheap um, fillers that the New York City. Uh, Department of Transportation use to fill potholes. Now, nah. I'm looking to fill the holes in my life up with tangible things. Um, uh, in the area of relationship, I'm looking to fill that hole big time. Uh, and uh, hopefully, uh, she'll get engaged by the end of the year, you know? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, things are looking up, and I think... Um, my kids are good, and I'm looking to, to uh, fill uh, that hole also because my my kids need a consistent female presence around them, uh, one that they can respect and honor and love, and one uh, that will love them back unconditionally. So uh, things are this year is going to be well, not that it's like 2017 and I'm going to do it by the end of the year, but. Um, I'm looking to close out some areas in my life that needs to be closed and fill in those areas that have gaps that need to be filled. I'm excited. I hope everybody had a good day. Thank you for watching this vlog. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this vlog. And uh, I want to encourage you guys to share it on your social media platforms, Twitter, um, Facebook, Everybody have a good night. God bless and thanks.